Hello there. Welcome to this video where I'll guide you through using our task tracker in Google Sheets. So let's get started. Before you begin, you can make a copy of the spreadsheet by going to File and selecting Make a Copy. This way, you'll always have a fresh copy ready for use whenever you need one. Also, to maximize your view, you can click on View and select Full Screen. Once you've opened the spreadsheet, make sure you're on the Customization tab. Here, you can customize the spreadsheet according to your preferences. You can start by listing the categories you typically divide your tasks into, such as personal, home, work, family, etc. Next, you can mention the different priority levels for your tasks, such as high priority, medium priority, low priority, etc. Lastly, you can specify the various stages or statuses of your tasks, such as pending, in progress, paused, etc. That's all you need to do before you start tracking your tasks. Once you finish setting up this tab, you can head over to the task tracker. In this tab, you'll list all your tasks along with their details, and above that, you'll have a dashboard where you can track all your tasks and their progress in different ways. First, you'll have a donut chart with a percentage, indicating the total portion of tasks you've completed so far. Next, this chart will break down your tasks into the categories you listed earlier. For example, I see that most of my tasks fall into the personal category. Then, this chart will show the breakdown of tasks based on priority levels. I can see that the majority of my tasks are of medium priority. The last chart will illustrate the distribution of tasks across the different statuses you defined. For instance, I can see that most of my tasks are currently in progress. In the rightmost section, you'll find the total number of completed tasks, followed by the number of tasks completed for the current day, then the number of tasks completed for the upcoming 7 days, and lastly, the total number of overdue tasks. Below the dashboard, you'll list all your tasks. The column next to the tasks is where you'll choose the task category from a drop-down list. Next to that, you can select the priority, and then the status of each task. You can then specify the due date for each task. The column under Days Left or Days Overdue will automatically calculate the remaining days until the task is due, and you don't need to put anything here. If a task is overdue, the cell will change color and indicate the number of days it's overdue. You can also add your notes in the last column if needed. Once you finish a task, you can check the box on the extreme left to strike out the task from the list. You can then specify the finishing date here. The task list also features a filter that will help you sort tasks based on different criteria. Let's do a quick walkthrough on using the filter to sort your tasks. For example, if you want to view all your personal tasks that are high priority and pending, here's how you can filter them. You can also sort tasks by their due dates, number of days left, or finishing date. So this is how you can effectively track and manage all your tasks from one place and filter them according to your needs using the built-in filter. However, if you prefer to filter your tasks without using the built-in filter, you can do that too. Let me quickly show you how, in the Task Filter tab. In the Task Filter tab, you can select various criteria based on which you want to filter your tasks. Simply choose the desired criteria from the drop-down menus, and then specify the date range by double-clicking and selecting the dates. By doing so, all the tasks that meet the selected criteria and fall within the specified date range will appear in the list, and you wouldn't have to rely on the built-in filter. So this is how you can track all your day-to-day -day tasks with simplicity and flexibility. 
This spreadsheet is available in a range of vibrant colors. Be sure to check them out in our shop by clicking the link provided in the description. When you make you purchase, you'll receive a fresh copy of the spreadsheet ready for you to use and customize to your needs. And that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching.